Hello everybody and welcome to uh, another animal graphic tutorial. As you can see here that I'm not actually on Desmos and that is because the, I want to show you how you can graph your own animal from scratch. So like you, you don't need to be sifting around the internet uh, looking for animal images. You can if you want to, um, but this time like, I actually have an image in mind that uh, that I want to want to draw up first and then bring that in onto uh, the calculator. Um, so uh, I have I have a paint open right here, and uh, in this video we're not actually going to be doing like any like real graphing, um, and that's going and that's going to start start uh, next week. Uh, so so uh, for for this time uh, um, I'm gonna. Go for for a dog. Um, is a is a, I feel that dog is, dog is going to be a pretty popular animal, um, and as well as well cats. Um, so those two are the next ones on on my list for for the ones that I have planned. Um, uh, if you have other ones, that do leave leave uh, do leave them in the description or or on the discussion page so everybody can see them. Um, and uh, and uh, with that said, uh, let's actually get started. So the one that I'm going to draw, we're going to start with with the with the face shape. The one I'm, one I'm going to go for. So so when you draw this, it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, it has to be. It has to be enough for you to know like what kind of shape. Or shapes that they want to, they want to uh, have. Uh, so, so um, this is, so as you can see, like I'm, I'm going, I'm making this like really, really rough, um, because I'm not actually going, to, I'm not actually actually going to be tracing this on, uh, on the graph. I'm going to use these as uh, my guidelines. So I'm not. Trying to think about like what kind of lines are the best. Like I, I'm not, I'm not actually thinking about uh, what what uh, what equation I want to be, I want to be, uh, I want to end up using. You know, because that one, uh, that decision comes later. All right, so this is the picture that I'm going to go with. Um, so, so uh, let's actually bring this, bring this onto onto Desmos. All right, so as you can see here, I'm I'm on uh, I'm on the graphing calculator. So, uh, so to bring a picture in, uh, we we used, we do the same thing as we. If we're to go image, only difference is so we're actually saving the image, image from Paint rather than saving it from uh, from the internet. So uh, so you can click Add Item, Image, that will take you to to uh, to all our files. So I save mine on desktop, so I'm gonna bring it there, and I and I click to realize how ugly this. Graph looks this picture looks, but that's not my concern at the moment. So this is how many ups. this looks like one unit off the center and I feel like I can work with this actually let's make it a bit bigger. So instead of one, let's go one point five. Let's go twenty five. Try way too hard on this. Um, right. So again, uh, it just doesn't have to be too precise. Um, just precise enough for you to be able to trace it. Um, and let's actually get our first few lines. And while we're still here, uh, so like the previous one, we can start with 
with with the basics, um, which which are uh, which are its facial features. So uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the eyes in, just just um, so that I can go to more involved ones uh, next week. So let's get this one in in uh, really quickly. Where is that position? So I, I'm I'm going to focus on on this on this right half and then just reflect everything over. Um, so this is going to be x minus one squared plus y minus two point five squared. So that equal to one for now, and then uh, we start pressing in. On, on the shape, and this one needs to be moved over then. I'm going to press this horizontally. Um, let's go with 0.5. This needs to be brought down by a little bit. I'm actually going to stick with this one. It's as in, as inaccurate as it may be. Close enough. Um, and and uh, just for the sake of completeness, just reflect this whole thing over. And for the pupils, we we can just give give it some points. So for the first one, give it zero point three seven five. Five and maybe position it at two for now. Yeah, this is exactly where I want it. All right, and uh, this is what we're gonna do for for uh, for today's video, and. For, uh, and for those of you who don't want to make your own picture or don't want to stick around the internet for your own picture, uh, I will have this image available in the description. And uh, as you can see, this this is already looking better than I, I hand drew. Um, so I just summarized the key steps for um, crafting any animal that, that you want. Uh, start with paint or any other photo error that they may have, Photoshop, GIMP, um, those will work as well. Um, and then uh, once you get on, you save it on onto, and uh, and then just and uh, hit hit this plus button. Uh, click on click on a image or new image, just image, and and just pull it from from uh, and just. Insert it in, and it'll center it at, at the origin for you by default, and uh, you can move it around to center it. But right, so that's it for for, uh, for today's video, and uh, now I'll get to more serious graphing next week.